Start the week with BAM and Geek. What's inside the newest BAM Geek subscription box? Did you happen to know that every single month BAM delivers a box of Geek right to your door? And that box can contain replicas, it can contain collectibles, and it can contain autographs. It does, does seem tantalizing to wet your whistle. You can subscribe by clicking the link down below in the video description. We're going to go ahead and get up and open up the newest BAM Geek Box. And of course, to do that, I'm going to have to reach off to the black hole. Yes, other people have been asking, where is the black hole? The black hole has now returned. I'm looking at him right now. He looks smaller, like he's been working out. I don't know if a black hole can be noticeably small. It seems seems noticeably smaller. But I'm reaching out into the black hole to pull out my trusty knife. That seems to be the storage place where I put a lot of my extra things. And we're going to go ahead and open up the box. Didn't mean to startle you with my knife. With Chet Cuddington the third. Let's go ahead and open up, free the box, the plastic. What would you call it? I guess that's what kind of, what is tape? Tape is like vinyl, isn't it? Thin strips of vinyl with adhesive on the other side. It certainly would be something I should spend a little bit of time, not too much time. I don't want to tell people I'm researching tape, but it would be something to kind of look into. How does tape get made? Anyways, did you know Bam Geek is made fans, for fans by fans? It's right there on the front of the box. Let's open up the box and check out the contents inside. Have you ever looked up online something strange that you don't want to admit to other people? No, no, not that, not that. But every once in a while, I'll just be curious to look up how do monkeys peel bananas? I literally, without a word of a lie, looked up the last, about a week or so ago, because somebody had told me that chimps and monkeys peel bananas from the bottom, and they don't peel them at the top where bananas bunch and, of course, are all attached to one another. And sure enough, it seems that most chimps tend to open bananas from the bottom. Researching came through once again. Anyways, we're going to open up. Why do we give on this tangent about looking and researching tape? I'm going to, I'm so going to do that. The first thing we're going to have a look at, not the most exciting of things, of course, is the BAM uh, paper, the, you know, the wallpaper, so-and-so. I guess if you did take a screenshot of that, feel free to go ahead and do that right now. You could turn that into your desktop wallpaper. You don't even have to credit me at all. Bam was the one that did all of that. I just came up with the idea of it. The first thing we're going to have a look at. Oh, this seems interesting. It's a pop. Now, I'm not normally someone who digs pops. But every once in a while, there will be something that will catch my curiosity. And one such thing could be Thanos in, an, in a holiday sweater. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and just open this up. I'm just gonna, I'm not opening it up so much as I'm just taking the plastic off just so I can get a better look for it because it has been autographed. I don't know who the autograph is actually of, but we'll know soon enough, of course, when we check the contents. But it literally is Thanos wearing a holiday sweater. You can see it right there. I always say to myself, I want to wear an ugly sweater during that Christmas season. I never do because I always think after the fact. It's always too late. It's like mid-December and I decide for myself, I'm going to start, I'm going to buy myself an ugly sweater. And then I sort of start doing the math in my head and I calculate how long that's going to take to get to my door. I place the order, processing, of course, they have to box it up, they have to ship it. There's no delay, hopefully, in the mail and then eventually gets to my door. It may be long into January before I finally get it. This year, I'm going to tell myself well in advance, Thanos was really the thing that reminded me, I'm going to, I'm going to buy myself an ugly sweater. I don't really know what the ugly sweater will be of, but know that this year, this humbled reviewer is going to venture into the territory of buying himself maybe, maybe two, not one, but maybe two ugly sweaters. Again, we're getting way off topic here. This corresponding uh, signed item has been subjected by examination by the export, expert team at Beckett Authentication Services and has been deemed authentic and genuine. This authentication can be verified visiting BeckettAuthentication.com and utilizing the below authentication number in the uh, designated area, which I guess would be this number right here. Apparently, there's a whole ton of them in costumes and all sweaters and Winter attire. I'll have to look into that. But that's a decent looking Thanos. I just don't know who actually signed him. 
But of course, that's what the insert card's going to be for. Uh, let me also just say, because he's he's a larger Funko Pop, he's noticeably heavier than some of the other Funko Pops we've gotten before. You just would have to take my word for it. You don't have to research that. I mean, you could if you want to, but the next thing we're going to have a look at is volume five, box number nine, which of course tells us what number box this is, but it's a collectible enamel pin. Now that looks like a scene pulled from the movie. Uh, was it, what was that movie where he had the split personality? Oh, split, that's what it was, split personality. Or it could have come from glass, but it does look like that actor yelling loudly. On the back, it says this pin is a limited release. So I can add that to my pin collection right there. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have a card. Now the card, it just says kill. It's this guy that's got kill written across his SWAT outfit. He's got a sigh. He's got none. He's got, it doesn't have nunchucks. He's got brass knucks. It looks like he's got a couple of swords. I don't know who this character is though. On the back, it does say this is an authentic, an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. They always tease you by giving you the, the character you probably wouldn't know first. And then when you eventually get that second card and you put them together, then you think to yourself, oh, right. And then you'll know who the character is. At, at the top of my head, if I'm going through my filing cabinets, I'm drawing an absolute blank. Looking up at producer Tony, Tony is also drawing an absolute blank. So I'm going to put that to the side and just know that I'm sure the insert card is going to tell us who exactly that character is. We also have ourselves a print. And it is, oh, it's the big Lebowski. It says the dude. And it says the dude abides. And you can see he's sipping his drink. Now, this is a limited release print. It's been autographed by the artist, and it's out of 2,200. This one happens to be 380. And again, on the back, just giving you all that necessary, telling you of the fact that this is authentic. A fan art print from a fan art collection is exclusive to BAM and has been hand-signed by the artist. It is guaranteed to be authentic. That's pretty cool. I've never really been a big fan of The Big Lebowski. It's one of those films where I feel like I have to like it because other people like it. And then all the times I sit down to watch it, it's like, eh, it's okay. It's like Fifth Element. Do you ever have those movies where people tell you, you should really like this movie or it's just popular. So you think, okay, I'm going to watch it. And every single time you watch it, it's just never, it's never any good. It's never any good. The next thing we have inside seems to be a box. Now I'm going to reach inside. I don't know necessarily what this box is of, but it says make breakfast a hoot. Cherry owls. Hmm. It says giving your young wizards and witches lung free as cherry owl owls for breakfast is your way to start the morning. I'm wondering if that's got to be Harry Potter. Never really have noticed what they eat for breakfast. Maybe it is. Uh, the Cherry Owls. It's not cherry, it's cheery owls. Lumphrey's Cherry Owls contain eight vitamins, extract, shroot oil. Okay, now we know. And keep your family strong and healthy. Interesting. Now, of course, this is a box that folds. It doesn't so much fold together. You basically just open it this way. Bear with me, bear with me. Just opens this way. And then you just fold the flaps inward. And it looks like there's an adhesive strip that you just peel off and then you stick everything together. Well, I've already started. I've talked about it enough. I sure I sure pr probably should probably put this together. I'm gonna peel this down, or peel that strip off, stick this down, and just kind of put it down on a flat surface so I can make sure it's fully, fully adhered. I wanna make sure it's also leveled flat too. There we go, there we go, all right, there we go. And then we'll just go ahead and fold the top down. I won't adhere it just yet, but it's just enough to kind of show you what it looks like, cheery owls. Again, I'm thinking it's from Harry Potter. Uh, of course, we will know when I look at the insert card. I'm sure many of you people are yelling right now down below. It's from Harry Potter, it's from Harry Potter, okay. Okay, I believe you, it's from Harry Potter. I always think it's fun when we get like replica boxes like this. It kind of reminds me of those Spaceballs cereal. That's one of my favorite boxed things I think we've gotten inside the BAM box. The, uh, the, of course, it was the Spaceballs cereal. Of course, now looking at the insert card, I don't think there's anything else in this box. Nope, nope. It's all empty. It is all empty. 
The next thing we have is the insert bar, bo uh, insert card that was inside the box. It says scratch it, win it. Of course, we have the insert scratch card that we're still going to go ahead and scratch that. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about it. If you match all three symbols, you win that prize. Or if you're really lucky, scratch off an instant winner symbol and instantly win a prize. prize prizes range from upgraded boxes to flat screen TVs and a PS4. Wow, that's... Some good options available. You can also join the BAM community. Visit us at www.thebambox.com. I'll provide that link also down below in the video description. And if you want more BAM, you can also follow them over on Facebook, Instagram, and on their YouTube page at The BAM Box. Pretty simple to find. Show off your BAM items. Take a photo of your favorite item from the BAM Box. Post on social media and tag us on your photo with a hashtag BAMer and hashtag your guild. Then we'll randomly select winners for free giveaways. That's not bad at all. Of course, now the inserts of what's all the stuff that was inserted inside the box. We have ourselves a celebrity autograph. When it comes to video games and animation, there's only one true Mad Titan. And that is Isaac C. Singleton Jr. Uh, Thanos, along with having notable roles in Anger Management, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Deadpool... Singleton has given voice to Thanos constantly since the early 2000s. Check out to see if you've got a Venomized Thanos or the Holiday Thanos hand-signed by Singleton on location at BAM. That's not bad at all. The fan art pin, M. Night Shyamalan Glass Trilogy, was one heck of a mind bender that took nearly 20 years for us to fully see. Between Unbreakable, Split, and Glass, we loved all the twists and turns. So we're thrilled to see a pin set brought to us by Brian Romero. Most of you will get the beast, but keep an eye for variants of David Dunn and Elijah Price, who of course is Mr. Glass. Down below you can see the other pins that would have been available. This is the one I did get, and I'm okay with that as well. That's a pretty snazzy looking pin. Also in contained inside was the fan art print. It's been 22 years since the dudes started abiding uh, on the big screen, and we couldn't wait any longer to celebrate one of our favorite movies ever. Oh, geez. I See, again, I feel like now the pressure should be there to like the movie. Maybe I'll give it another watch. But needless to say, this tribute to The Big Lebowski was brought to us by Carrie Milburn, and we couldn't be more pleased. Yeah, that's like our opinion, man. Proper replica goes now to the uh, Hogwarts, so of course we couldn't send you to Hogwarts, so we thought we'd bring a little taste of Harry Potter's world to you instead, with this box of cheery owls. You can sit down and decide which house to join over a nice breakfast. And last, the thing that confused me, I think, the most was the card. Can you believe it's been seven years since the last episode of The Office? Is that in The Office? Uh, we can't. We're still waiting our to... We're still watching it daily. To continue our year-long dual card series, artist George Vega brings us Dwight versus You'll See Next Month. Office heads can start guessing away. Keep your eyes open to see if you've got the one with the limited hollow foil cards, which would be this one down here. Now, again, that doesn't... Now that has me wondering because, again, like I, I didn't recognize it, but I guess now that I'm looking at it, it does sort of bear some resemblance to Dwight, doesn't it? Let me just get the camera to focus in on his face. Yeah, yeah, I would say that does look a little bit like Dwight Schrute. Very, very cool. And I guess would be guessing as to who the other person is. Would it be Jim? I'm trying to remember now that episode on the other side of the card. And of course, the last thing we will want to be doing before we wrap things up, close up shop for the night and send you guys on your merry little way is we're going to, of course, also scratch the card. I'm going to have to see if I can find something for that. Well, it's worked in the past. Let's go ahead and just grab a little nail file here. This is just my little uh, clippers that I use to clip the little twist ties for my figures. It's a simple and easy way to relieve those figures from their plastic prison. And in this case, I'm going to be using the nail file to free up this gray material. This could be something else I should research. What gray material do they use to put over top of that? But we do have an Amazon Echo Bot. Let's scratch the box number two. And it doesn't seem like it's a Amazon Echo Bot. The next one we have is a celebrity signed autograph. Now that would just be as 
just as cool as well. But then the last box, let's see what else we have in here. Ah, uh, to think, to think. I could have possibly gotten myself an autograph, but no dice, unfortunately. That blasted Amazon Echo Bot had to get in the way of things. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for those kids and their pesky Amazon Echo Bot. Anyways, if you guys certainly are in the market of subscribing to one of the best geek boxes around, you can click the link and head on over to BAM Box. And of course, while you're there, you can decide for yourself what BAM feet fits your preference the most. Maybe you prefer to get BAM Horror Box. Maybe you prefer to get BAM Geek Box. Maybe you prefer to get both boxes. Nonetheless, though, this month we were having a look at the September box, which was number nine. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and liking the content you're seeing, consider the idea of hitting that subscribe button down below and moving, of course, over to that bell notification to turn that on. That will give you somewhat the guarantee that when new videos are popping up to this channel, you get those friendly little reminders. And it certainly is a friendly reminder as well from me to you. Just know that Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you'll find new videos popping up on this channel. There's going to be lots of other videos coming your way, a lot of unboxings and other cool stuff. So keep your peepers peeled. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.